Yeah, I cast Norb to the channel devoted to the team to adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some- WHAT?! Viewer and parental discretion is advised. One and all, back again over to Diecast Norps Activate. I'm Diecast Norps Galactic Hooligan, and I really want to thank you for joining me once again for my trip through Nerdum. Today, we're actually going to be talking about a store that's actually around this area and plantation called Bits and Buttons. Bits and Buttons, I actually went there to sell a few toys and everything, and they actually had something I've always wanted that was just staring me right in the face at everything, saying, Bye, Misa by me. It was this guy right over here, Oculus Max Sphinx. I've never had this before, and I actually always have wanted a masterpiece, uh, a masterpiece Mirage in my collection. So, uh, Hasbro hasn't made one yet or anything like that. I'm not exactly sure if I'd actually be paying the $290 of whatever their inflated fees right now actually are over in Takara and everything like that when it actually comes down to any of the masterpieces now. I'm actually kind of still surprised that we actually had skids for that was actually under $100. So, like, good on you for that, but, like, Come on, guys. Yeah, I think you're actually, like, upselling way too much and everything. But nonetheless, I actually found this Sphinx that was actually given to me at a great price over there. So, if you're actually in the planta Florida plantation area, you can actually probably go over there and get some great prices over at uh, Bits and Buttons. They are awesome. I'm actually looking forward to reviewing this guy. Welcome to the show. If you haven't already, please hit the like, subscribe, and the hit the notification bell. Share me around like a blunt with all of your friends. It'll help my planetary system grow and I would really love it. I've uh, been loving seeing more and more of you subscribing to Diecast Norbs Activate and I couldn't thank you all enough. So thanks for that. Now let's dig into Sphinx. And here we are fresh off the racing circuit. It's Sphinx. He is really, really awesome in his Formula One racer here and everything that is actually displaying the Satan's uh, logo here, t number 26. He is pretty awesome. One thing I'll actually have to say about my version of this figure is that this figure actually has this uh, front fender right over here that just keeps on sliding in. I'm pretty sure that I can actually fix it with like a little bit of kikis, but aside from that, he is really pretty awesome. I love it. I just wanted to shed a little bit of light on the situation over here. He is pretty cool. He's actually mostly blue and white, and you actually have like a lot of silver accents and everything like that, especially on the wheels, which are very rubberized and everything. I really love the fact that they actually did that on this figure. One thing about this one is I might have to like throw some kikis on the fenders. There is uh, some die casting that's actually going on over here. Some going on into the fenders right over here. I mean over to the spoiler right over here that will actually become his feet. Some over here. Uh, I think this is plastic if I'm not mistaken but it could be die cast. But there is quite a bit of die casting that's actually going on in here. And now, ha! I am diecast dorms and I'm finally doing something with some diecast metal. So how about that? The wheels are really, really awesome, actually. They're totally made out of rubber. They actually have, like, a little bit of a grip and everything like that, which I actually think is actually pretty great. And they are just really nicely stylized. So you can't really beat that whatsoever or anything like that. This guy is very cool. He actually has a steering wheel that's actually right on the inside over here. You hardly notice any robot coming out of here whatsoever. In fact, if you turn him over, there's hardly anything that actually says robot or anything like that. So that's actually always really cool. Again, the 
only major issue that I might have on mine is that this piece actually keeps on sliding in and out here and everything. I wish that there was a way to like, like a direct way to fix that, but I think Kiki should actually be able to do it. On the front, we have the Autobot symbol that I actually installed over here. It is a repro label, so it's very, very cool. Cool. I like it. The other caveat that I actually have for mine over here is an issue with joining right around this area here and everything where his arms and his legs actually meet. It's actually kind of like sad, but that's what we're actually getting over here. I kind of wish that they actually could join a little bit better. They actually have the same thing going on over here on the other side and everything. So it, I, from what I actually heard about Sphinx, he actually has quite a bit of that going on and everything. And um, I know that there are like better, like uh, that there are better mirages out there and everything like that. But like at the price that I actually got this for, I think I actually kind of like saved myself like about 200 bucks and everything. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's go into some comparisons. Here goes Mirage with Sunswipe and Sunstreaker or Bad Cube Sun Surge. And with Takara Tobi Skids. Ocular Max's Sphinx or Mirage actually really ends up pro doing pretty nicely in auto mode. I love this guy so much. He's actually so cool. So now let's get him into robot mode and see what goodness he actually carries in that mode. Headship! Transforming Sphinx from, or Mirage from vehicle mode to robot mode is actually pretty, pretty easy. Uh, there are a couple of plot tolerances here and there that might be a little bit more cryptic. But let's start off by putting in the front fender first and everything and also sliding these pieces up right over here. Also, let's start like loosening this up a little bit over here. We're actually going to lift this piece up right over here. This is actually just one attached piece that actually goes right in here and this will actually circle back and everything in just a moment. But let us lift these pieces up right over here as well and then we are going to bring these back wheels all the way in like so and then bring this in like that and that actually completes some of the leg transformation we're just gonna bring up his spoilers we're going to curve these back a little bit and Let's separate the legs. We'll bring them outwards. We just have to come over here and there is a piece that is right here. Just let me, ah, oh, there it goes. That's the slider right there. So let's slide his legs out a little bit. Hold on one second. Just let me get this piece and slide it. Also, we want to bring this piece right over here and then bring it down so we can actually complete the leg and then spin this motor piece right over here. And then to complete that, we just want to bring this in and it's actually on a die cast hinge right over here. So that's actually really nice. And then there is a pin that's actually going right over here or a peg that's actually going right in the back there. And then there goes the first leg completed. Let us go right over here. We're going to slide this down and then there we go. That slider actually works. We'll bring this all the way down here. We're going to slide his knee right down here until it kind of semi-locks in. Then we'll actually bring this piece down on the hinge to form the rest of the leg. And then we're actually going to come over here and then we'll bring that pin right into the peg. I mean, and we'll bring that peg right into the hole socket there. So there we go. And that is the bottom piece done already. Let's bring this up. We will give this a little bit of a spin. We're going to then bring these shoulder pieces all the way out. They're actually on sliders that are really, really tough to like actually slide in, uh, to slide in and out. So you just have to kind of like gingerly work it up. There we go. Let us then attach the arms right from here. There's a pin, now there are pegs that are actually going right over here and over here that go into a couple of like alternating slots right on the inside. Let's bring the arm down. Then we're going to come over here and then we're going to bring 
this piece all the way down here and then that actually holds his hand. So there we go. And then we'll just slide all of everything up there. And then there goes an arm all together. And then on the other side, we'll bring this peg all the way back. We will bring this arm down right on the elbow. We'll bring this out and then we'll secure this piece. It doesn't really snap in anywhere whatsoever or anything like that, but that's where it is. And then we'll then bring this all the way down. Now, the head on mine actually has like a tendency to actually slide off of the actual headpiece itself and everything. So you can actually just kind of like smush this in a little bit. I haven't figured out if I'm actually gonna glue that all in or anything like that just yet, but Aside from that, we're going to bring the wheels in like so, and like so. We'll just bring that in, there we are. And then, then we will bring all of this down and around, okay? So then we're gonna bring this whole entire section down, and then we will just bring this down over here, and that should actually just cover everything up here and now just bring these two pieces down and then we'll secure the rest of his rib cage right over here and over here and that should pretty much okay you want to make sure that the wheels are all the way in like that and then you bring this in and then that should actually peg right on the front and then bring these two pieces in like so bring this down and then that will actually enable us to get the head and you just have to go a little deep in here in order to get the head out. It can actually be a little rough. You actually kind of like have to rock it back and forth. And then this piece right over here, we can actually just swing that around and then separate. And this one is actually a little tight on my copy of this figure, but we just want to separate it and then Bring this down like that, and down like so, and then we'll actually peg them right onto the alternating sides right over here. Okay, it took a moment, but I finally got it, and you actually have to kind of like really squeeze it out, or like really just like kind of like squeeze it out. There's like an arm that actually kind of like separates and combines right over here. But once you're actually done with all of that, you actually have Mirage in robot mode here, and he's awesome. Let's take a look at this guy. Sphinx does definitely bring all the G1 goodness here and everything, and I really love how this guy is actually constructed. I love the smoother plastic on this guy and everything. One thing that's actually off on my version is that he actually kind of like has this wonky section right over here where he kind of like just kind of wants to fall down and everything like that. I will actually have to come back and fix it, but that head is definitely Mirage. I'm actually loving the gloss that's actually on the inside of those uh, those eyes there and everything like that. It just really lights up. And even if there's like nothing in the room whatsoever or anything like that, except for like a little bit of sunlight, those eyes will actually beam. So they're actually great. They kind of like make them really look alive to me. I don't really see anything off on the paint as much or anything like that. Although it looks like they actually kind of like painted around the helmet instead of like painting on the inside of the face itself and everything like that. So you will actually notice things like that. Uh, this piece right over here is just like slightly crooked, but it's actually okay. There's a Reaper label right over here so we can actually know that he is Mirage when he's actually in my hands. Uh, we actually have every the white and blue and trousers right over here. He actually really looks the part of Mirage here. I'm really digging this guy a lot, you know? Even from the back, really doesn't look bad whatsoever or anything like that. I really, I like him so much, he's great. And Mirage comes with a couple of weapons over here. We actually have his rocket launcher right over here and everything. It is actually collapsible altogether. You can actually kind of like put it back in and everything. And it doesn't really 
it, it actually slides in and it holds really well and everything like that, but like you don't need a whole lot of effort to take that out whatsoever, you know? So that's actually great. He has a small clip right over here, so you can actually clip it right into his shoulder. And when you're actually clipping it into the shoulder, just clip it on this die cast piece right over here. And there we go. And there goes Mirage with his shoulder rocket. I really love the way that actually looks. It's so it's very, very cool. And it's very, very G1 Mirage here and everything. So it's great. If you're actually looking for a good G1 guy, this is actually one way to go. And his blaster is definitely a Mirage blaster. And I really like the fact that they actually put like a hole right over here and everything like that. So it does look like an actual blaster here. Very, very cool. You actually have a peg that's actually right on the inside on adjacent sides of the of the handle itself and everything. So you can actually open up his hands and then slide this in right over here and then just put that right into his hands right here. So that's actually really great. And if you didn't notice, his thumb actually moves too. So that's actually great altogether. And that is a well-armed Mirage right over there. I really like him. His points of articulation, he actually does have like somewhat of a 360 uh, head turn right over here. It's actually kind of like hindered by like the fact that he actually has his, has his uh, headgear right on the other side and everything like that. He can actually look up to a great degree right over here. He can actually look down and you can actually go like, <laughs> you know, so that's actually really great too and everything. So let's see, we actually have this piece right over here. He can actually go all the way up just like so. He actually has like a 360 right over here. So that's actually really great. It's a really great universal hinge and everything like that. So I really like this. You can actually swing this all around and everything like that. So and you can actually like rotate on the upper bicep you can actually rotate right you can bend right over here on the elbow so that's actually really great uh he actually does have it to where he can actually get like good full motility there so that's actually really nice he has rotation on his wrist he can actually open up his hands right over here he has one index finger you can move his thumb also and everything which kind of scares me somewhat and everything like that i don't i hope mine never breaks or anything like that but like you actually have a good range of movement right over there so that's actually really nice too we have waist articulation right over here is due to transformation as i said before you actually do have like an ab crunch right over here so that's actually really great mine's a little wonky again but again, I can actually probably fix it with like a little bit of kikis or something like that. So that's actually really great. Once you actually get the hip skirt out of the way, you can kick all the way out. You can kick all the way back as well. So that's actually really nice. He actually has thigh rotation right over here. It's actually like slightly hindered by some of his, uh, by some of his robot bits right over here in his upper leg. You can go uh, about that far on his, uh, you can actually go about that far on his knees and everything. So that's actually really nice articulation. He can actually somewhat Kung Fu and everything. So that's actually really nice. And then you actually have toe flexion and an ankle tilt that actually goes on forever. So that's really great. Just really, really nice articulation on this guy. I love him to death. And for an older figure and everything that came out, I want to say 2017 or something like that was this guy. I think it was around 2017. I really still think he actually holds up up to now. Again, this piece is actually slightly loose and everything. I gotta fix that up and everything. But like aside from that, just a really solid figure. And if you wanna see exactly how he looks with his other Autobot brethren over here, we have Skids, Mirage, Sideswipe, and Sunstreaker, or Sun Surge if you'd like to call him that. And Sphinx actually looks amazing with these guys. I am actually gonna give you some final thoughts in just a moment.
I really want to thank Bits and Buttons for selling this guy over to me and giving me the mirth that a toy like this can actually give me and everything. He is awesome. I really love everything about this guy. And again, I really know that there are other mirages out there and everything, you know? Like there is uh, one from, I think, Toy World and everything like that also that is actually a very, very cool mirage and everything. And if it's not Toy World, everybody correct me, please. But like, this guy is actually is super super cool I'm actually glad I got him in my collection and it kind of like really like scratches the itch for like what I was actually looking for in a Mirage there are a lot of them out there right now I think there are like uh, three of them out there right now and everything like that that actually holds like the place of Mirage and everything like that and everything that they actually do but for my first experience with a Mirage I think this one is a pleasant surprise and everything you know and I was actually thinking about like maybe splurging a little bit more in order to get something else. But right now, I think I'm actually really happy with this placeholder and everything. Until we actually have something new and everything, this guy is pretty much gonna be my Mirage for a long while. But if there's something else that actually comes out or if there's someone that actually wants to send me something as a sample or anything like that, you know, like if Shozy or anybody else actually wants to send me a sample of like one of these guys and everything like that, just so they can actually experience it, Please let me know. Please reach out to me. I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise than that, this guy is actually really awesome. If you do actually have a chance to get the, to actually get this version of Mirage, get him. He's awesome. I don't think that there's anything bad that I can actually say about Ocular Max's uh, about Ocular Max's um, Sphinx here and everything like that. He's actually really cool. He actually does have like a lot of diecast parts on the inside also that gives him like a lot of heft and a lot of solidity. So I really love it. In any case, thank you for once again joining me for a trip through the nerdom. I really appreciate each and every one of you for joining me once again. Um, my background and everything like that might change sooner or later and everything like that. I'm just like letting you guys know there might be a place where there may be a place where I might have to take like a slight hiatus and everything like that, but I'm not exactly sure if that's actually now yet or anything like that, but I will definitely keep you posted. In any case, I really appreciate you all and mental health check. Make sure that you're treating yourselves extremely well. Make sure to practice mindfulness. Make sure to take care of yourselves, your body, your mind, everything. Take care of yourselves fully and everything. Also, make sure that you're actually spreading love and tenderness out there in the world because we actually all need it more than ever. Make sure that if you have love, that you actually treat it with kindness, tenderness, and care because love is an action word. And make sure that you actually keep that action word in action, you know? In any case, that's it for me. I hope you all join, uh, join me again when I actually pull out other robots that I love to death and everything. So as always, treat yourselves kindly. As always, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. I look forward to talking to each and every one of you soon.